about 24 hours of recording so you can do yeah. with one. Yeah. So put it on, just see it's counting.
now we're going to go for the start of the sea fleet. A few of our boys in at Fleetwood, it's Gordon Bayless, Middleton. Um, anywho. And then after the start. We're under orders. Snackers is in this race, Baby Sham Dave's in this race, so it should be entertaining at least. I think Mr. Sherman's in it. He is indeed. One minute to go. Just wait to see if our camera gets up. Hiya Tom! Hiya Tommy! <laughs> right, the start is about to go. Eight. Five. Two. All clear. Good start. See it on camera, yeah? But oh, foot pop anyway. So we've got to stay taking the lead. Mick Chamberlain's just tripped on a bolt, really shouldn't be there. 330 GPR. Looks like he's in the lead. Spread right across the lake. Ah, and he has fly Tony. Snackers is way over the far side of the lake. Oh, good position actually. Gonna use the starboard. Now, and I can see Baby Sham has also done that route. Mm, right, number 30 down the middle of the lake. With 330, he was doing really well. And number 15, oof, close by. Number 30. And 61 is John Sherman, Adrian Tompkinson. Yeah, he's having a pretty good race at the start. And so is John Sherman actually here, which 61 I think he is. Yeah, he? 61, John? Yeah, he's doing good. Snack is way over the far side. Um, I don't know. Oh, some, there's a cacophony of coloured sails as you can see on the camera. <laughs> Now we're coming up to the first mark and it looks like 330, 50, 21. Ooh, this is where it gets a bit chaotic sometimes. Going round it. Tony's got a great view of that. And around. Also gone to the starboard mark. Has it been a gate? And our friend 330 is still. Dave Burke in the lead. Dave Burke in the lead, yes, still. Yeah, he's doing really good. And 
we've got a lovely pink coloured box. I can't see your sales, I think it's 50. Second and third will be. Yeah, yeah, from Bermuda, all the way from Bermuda. <laughs> it will be cold, won't it? Now John Sharman's coming up down there on this side of the lake. And he's, he's looking quite okay, actually. Um, Nigel Brown. Yeah, he's doing 55. And uh, Fly Tony's just having a look at the tail enders at the minute. Because we all want our camera time. Come on, Snackers. Snackers! There's uh, something in his eye going a bit off course. Um, I don't really know what's happened to Baby Sham, but he's. Uh, it's like he's lost the plot. Oh, well, now then, this could be some kamikaze sailing now at the leaders. Going around that mark. And they're all. That group of bunk cleared. Can't believe that. Very orderly, I have to say. I do like them red sets. 881 may have clipped, but no, he's clear. David Riley still in the lead, commanding lead, and gaining even more lead. Very well, John Sharman's currently took, I think, second place. He's done really, really well in the last um, half of the lake. Oh, he's, he's going for it now, it's John. Hey, bravo, hey, bravo. Can you come into the, uh, the Dave Burke, should I say, is the leader. And Mr. Sharman is now currently second and chasing. Is, um, Nigel Brown. Nigel Brown, yeah, this is, uh, yeah, it looks familiar, this Three good sailors. Yeah, Dave Burt cruising. John Sharman chasing. Isle 55. Yeah, I'm sure I've seen these three in, the, in similar positions over the year, over the months. Nice breeze. It's a uh, really nice day for sailing, actually. I'm jealous I'm not on the water. Oh, it's got to be good enough in a global event, I would imagine. <laughs> Now there's a little bit of uh, argy bargy going on in the middle of the field. In fact, it's pretty exciting some of the sailing going on in, in the middle. There is uh, avoidances and all kinds of whatnot. It's a bit like Formula One. There's always some race going on somewhere in the in the pack. But. Fly Tony has gone with the lead up for obvious reasons, he's doing really good. And um, Sherman's uh, closing up, he's uh, sort of like slowed. But uh, I wouldn't take anything away from John Sherman, he is a good sailor. A very good sailor. But also, he's David Burke. Current leader, very comfortable. That's interesting because one of them's took the port at the gate and one of them's gone starboard. Yes. Now the 
closer than it actually is but it's kamikaze sailing tora 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 continent ah that bit of jam there has now finally decided to open up and catch up great view going down down the lake there uh, Dave uh, with, what 20 bolts yard yeah, length brown coming up 55 all right young shaman's getting challenged now by number 155 yeah, very very good mr burt 20 bolt lengths ahead but they are starting to get, gather some momentum. Really looks good. I do like them red sails. Okay, Bert just took the mark. Next one to him, 155, I can't remember his name, is just taking them out now, so that's how clear he is. And John Sharman in a comfortable third. Now he won't be trying to make any mistakes, he just wants to gain the fleet. So his, his goal is to get into the B fleet. Third, happy days. Top six go up, bottom six go down. Now, ooh, <laughs> ooh, bloody hell, another one. I don't know. Oh, who's the. This, this is 19 Charlie. This? Yes, 19 Charlie. Is this 19 Sea Fleet? 19 Perez. The Admiral's just walking up the lake now for the finish. John Jarman. Yeah, there he only has to come in the top six. I think that's what he's set up for. Oh, this is getting tasty. They are the top six. Here are they are. Oh wow. 155 picked David Burke. 330 led all the race. Hell he did that. Mr. Brown coming in third, John Sharman happily coming in fourth, 178 would be um, Top six that are going on. Six is Mick Chamberlain. Mick Chamberlain, well done, Mike. <laughs> well done, buddy. 